Hi everyone, it's Fiona here from Stamping with Fiona. Welcome and it's the 30th of July so today is the final Christmas in July for me in 2021 and um, I just wanted to share a little um, bit of gift packaging with you. So um, I had originally done it earlier this year um, in a little group that I'm in um, and I did it um, I think that's cinnamon cider, bumblebee, and with the lipstick from the all dressed up, uh, dressed to impress set. Um, but I don't actually really like that. I do love the little pouch. Um, so I've made one in shaded spruce and used up some shaded spruce ribbon that I had left over. Um, and I've just put some of the Regal's designer series paper, designer series paper on it. Um, and inside, I'll just show you what is inside. is a cute little lip balm so there is a trick actually that's it's that way up there is a trick to doing it so I've got everything as ready as I can and I'm hoping that um, I am able to feed the ribbon through despite um, being on camera so I've got a bit of cardstock um, I will put the measurements on my blog but this bit of cardstock is nine centimeters by 14 centimeters and I've scored it at six and eight centimeters and then using my trimmer, I've just cut, I've actually got some pencil mark there. Uh, I've just cut a little slit. So I need to rub those um, pencil marks out. I'll do that later. Um, and then I've got some ribbon. Now this is probably going to be too long. This is about, uh, I think, 40 centimetres. This one was 35. Um, and it's long enough to do a knot, but it's a bit tricky to do a bow. So I thought I would try and do a bow with it. So... The, the trick is you start with the ribbon on the outside and you feed it through one of your slots like that and then back out through your other slot. These slots are probably a little bit bigger than you actually need them to be just so that I could get them through. Um, pull it through so it's roughly even and then what you need to do is you need to pull it there and put your lip balm or lipstick or whatever you're going to be sending to someone um, and pull the ribbon tight. Um, now on the one I did before, um, it actually moved. So I'm just going to use a couple of glue dots to hold the ribbon in place before I put my designer series paper on. I do apologise if you can hear a screaming child. I've got my window open. And it's my neighbours. I think they're packing up to go on holiday, but um, the kids don't seem to be very happy. So I'm just going to, you because you want it so that that doesn't fall out, basically. So if I do that, it's going to fall out. If I pop it in and hold it really tight, it's not going to pop out. So I'm just going to put a couple of glue dots on either side. Oops. Gosh, the sun's actually coming out. It's been terrible weather today. We've had this storm and the winds have been unbelievable for July. I mean, it's been like October. It's dreadful. Um, right, there we go. So I just need to pull the ribbon tight and then push it down so that the glue dot holds it in place. And the same on the... Whoops, it's just stuck to my bit of paper. And the same on the other side. Just going to pull it tight and hold it down and hopefully yeah that's perfect okay and then the trick is to you need I might do another couple of glue dots actually to hold it in place um, you're going to put your designer series paper over the top of your ribbon so that's what keeps your ribbon in place basically so just another glue dot whoever invented these was very clever Just get that straight there we go okay then I've already cut some of this beautiful designer series paper um, I was actually going to show it to you this is the painted Christmas 12 by 12 um, and you get 12 sheets so let me just get it out of the pack so the new the mini catalog goes on sale on Tuesday um, and I've just received my catalogue so if anybody would like a catalogue and a celebration catalogue so this is um, the 12 by 12 paper two sheets I think it's two sheets of each 
must be two sheets of six designs. So I love that one, the greens. And you've got some greens on the back. And they're not just for Christmas. Um, I mean, obviously, you've got some mistletoe there. You've got holly there. I love this one. This is the one I'm using. So I've already cut that up. And that's beautiful on the back. Red and green, my favourite for Christmas. But on the back, you see, I don't think that's particularly Christmassy. And to me, it's, it's almost pink. So there's a mixture of colours in there. Um, again, that's sort of Christmassy, but you could get away with that. It's sort of like a fern. Um, and then on the other side, again, it's green leaves. Oh, hang on, sorry, I think I modelled those up. Start again. Right, so you've got the, well, I'd say that's a fern with some fir tree and some leaves on the back. So again, that needn't be for Christmas. And then you've got some fir cones, which are beautiful. And then just some red stripes. So again, not necessarily just for Christmas. But the one that I've chosen to use this afternoon, um, which I love, is this pine cones. And those. So I'm going to use the pine cone side. So I have already cut out three pieces. Um, I'm not planning on decorating the inside. I did that on my original one and actually I think it was too much. So these are five and a half centimetres by eight and a half centimetres. And this bit is eight and a half long by one and a half centimetres wide. Um, and you just want to stick it over to hold your ribbon in place like that so I'm using my stamping stamping seal plus just because I don't want it falling off my cardstock is evening evergreen um, and I think that's evening evergreen in there with a bit of early espresso by the looks of it and crumb cake and there's not really a direction for this so you just want to line it up so we've got a bit of a frame just a tiny little one try and get this on straight there we go and then the same on the other side Hopefully when I've put my bit on the spine. So it reminds me a bit of a book actually. Here we go. Um, it should cover up those pencil marks and I'll just rub off any excess. And it really is a very quick... Um, so you know if you wanted to... For teachers at Christmas or friends at work, colleagues at work. And there you go. It's beautiful. Now my plan was originally to put um, a pine tree on the front. So we'll just have a look and see what that would look like have that at the top but I actually do quite I, I do like that paper so I might actually just leave it I could have a tone on tone one there but I would just put that on with dimensionals but you know what actually I think I'm going to leave that off and what I'll probably do is just put a sentiment on there saying for you or something like that and then hopefully I've got enough ribbon Oh, I'm showing you this ribbon either. It's beautiful. It's um, evening evergreen and it's quite thick and it's got like a chevron. Um, and in fact, it's called. It's just called even. Oh, chevron weave ribbon. Yeah, so it has got like a chevron on it. You can see that. But it doesn't feel, it's lovely and silky. Um, and it doesn't feel too thick, but doing a bow, it might actually be a bit too big. So anyway, we'll give it a go. And failing that, I'll just do a knot like I did with my other one. And I just think they're really cute little packages. Now, there we go. Just need to snip the ends off. Oh dear, that went a bit wrong. Let's try that again. There we go. 
So how cute is that? And that's what's inside. So I hope you like that. I'd love it if you would um, sign up to my newsletter so that I could send you details of the celebration that is about to come uh, starting on the 3rd of August to the end of September for two months. Some beautiful products in there. And I've already sh shared some of them with you, the de designer series paper for the deer and the penguins. Um, but I would love it if you would sign up for my newsletter um, and follow me. That would be fantastic. Thanks for watching. Bye.